Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Zips, and welcome back to Wild Frost. Getting crazy with it. You are here, so am I. It's time to play a little Wild Frost. Let's do it. I don't know what I just said. So today's leader name, I wanted... Oh, oh before I say what I'm going to name the leader, I actually got to pick. So, you could... You could go with any of these leaders, in my opinion. Specific... Both these leaders are, like, pretty damn good. I think out of these two, I like the little bit of utility... I like the little bit of utility more of Snow rather than, like... Rather than this leader's damage. Because I, I personally like high-value Snow. However... However... I've had a very interest. So I put I put up a very something I mentioned last episode is a very interesting thought I thought experiment I had with this gain plus one attack leader, and you can get the setup of cake charm if you get the setup of cake charm critical blaze bomb. Then you are applying like how much is that? That's five. That's ten frenzy. So whenever this leader would attack, he would gain 10 attack. So it'd just be like constantly scaling attack. Now, it seems like you specifically need Blaze Bomb to get this kind of leader to work. Like it's just not gonna work without it. I don't know. Maybe you can try maybe we could try it. It's just like the problem is this leader seems I mean, I guess this leader isn't that much worse than this leader. It sounds interesting, and I want to kind of try it. Eh, one streak's only at one. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, we can get something cool. So I'm going to name this leader after a conversation I had with a with a friend a bit ago, like, to, like a couple of hours ago. I'm going to name this leader Shell, eight, which stands for Silly, Happy, Enigmatic Little Losers. Alright, with this leader, I'm... <laughs> We'll pick Spike. Leader doesn't have phenomenal health, so we want to pick something that can tank for. Oh no, Teeth Charm. You know it's a you know it's a bad day when you see Teeth Charm, when you see an initial Teeth Charm. Oh god, what do I do with this? How do I deal damage? <laughs> Cause I don't want to hit the Grouch. Cause I don't want to hit the Grouchies, or else, like, damn, this is the most I've ever been messed up by Grouchies. So I don't want to hit the Grouchies, or else I'm gonna just, like, mess myself up. Alright, it's fine. The leader is starting to have, like, acceptable attack. I don't know, like... If... See, if we can, like, find... A, if we can just find a way to stack Frenzy, then this leader will legitimately, like, will pop off ridic... I think this leader will pop off ridiculously hard. Absolutely devast... Absolutely, absolutely devastatingly hard. Sadly, I have to lose Junkhead here. There's no other choice. It's impossible. It's not it's not scientifically possible to unless you wanna like spike die, which I I don't really care for. I don't care for that one fucking bit. Alright, very standard first little fight here. So I learned about a really so a bit of but before I recorded this, I watched a video by SaberSpark about a show called 12 Forever. And, like, there's a, there's a fuck, and, like, a kind of a fucked up story behind it. I'd watch, I could watch his video if, about it if you want to, because I, I found it pre pretty interesting. Okay. What are we looking at today big berry it's novel it's not gonna be you today i'm sorry buddy sorry snobby sorry <laughs> sorry snobby wobby so i picked up this we did pick up this 
I just registered the me that we picked up this molten egg, molten egg charm. You could do some... It as our first charm, I actually like quite a bit. I think we definitely want to put that onto something. Getting that charm early, I think, is one of the best cases for it. Otherwise, it's like kind of a, a pretty middle-of-the-road charm. Eh, I'm gonna freeze the goblin. Nothing on the board scares me too much. At least, well, not yet. We got, okay, this is a nice, uh, my leaders are gonna, my guys are gonna take damage, but then they're just gonna heal the damage, so it doesn't matter. This porcupine got, porcupine got major countered by our big, our big goof, our big, <laughs> our, our big gooby friend, our big gooby friend, Mr. Big Berry. Hey, I could I could tell that Bumbo was gonna spawn in this top lane before before he actually like spawned. I want you to go back and tr go back and try to figure out why. It's it's pretty it's pretty simple act. It's honestly like pretty simple. I'm not gonna lie. I really don't, I really don't fear, like, anything in this fight. Not to say that this fight is, like, usually, this fight usually, like, I, this, on average, I'd say is, like, probably the hardest, probably the hardest out of all the, out, this fight here is probably the hardest out of all the Act 2 fight, or the, the second, out of all the second combats. But we haven't really been shown, shown anything any set any kind of setup here that like actually scares me i i actually if bumbo was attacking first there i would have ended up sentencing spike to die so be glad that bumbo did not attack first okay pretty simple we got a lot of money now it just occurred to me. I rolled an eighty from that from that like bling cave. That was that was a that's a lot of money to get from one of those. Hmm. So do I want a treasure? <laughs> Amos bomb board is really goofy. I don't think it's. I don't think it's gonna be that. I'm gonna just take the money. Money me up. I don't know why I looked at my looked at my items there. So we could play BG J Jumbo. It's, I'm gonna go BG here. We don't really need Jumbo. I might take I might take everything in the shop if I'm being on, honest. Well, everything excluding F Foggy Brew. And I might actually take a put. I want to take Berry Blade here. Magma. Then I want to take a Storm Globe because Storm Globe is almost always really good. And I think I want to take Magma Booster for later down the line. Although, does Magma Booster really do much for us? Not really. Eh, I don't really need it. I'll roll Charm instead. You shown me a Hog Charm. Pretty sweet. That could go on BG pretty well. So what I want to do here is I'm gonna I want to try this line of putting molten on. We have a lot of sustain actually. I can really I can really do to. I can't. Um, well, I, I'm not gonna do it quite yet. Cause we might be able to see balance charm for BG and then we could play like offensive BG and have a good time. And have a jolly old and have a jolly old time. Do not do not sleep on offensive BG. It she will mess you up. She will clap you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Uh, um, I'm hilarious. Uh, I'm, I'm so cool. I don't want to deal with this snoof. I, I am gonna need... Well, this is kind of annoying. But... It's actually fine. Because we got the big ass berry blade. Hit it. Kind of unfortunate yet I have to use it on bamboozle and I and not on a backline unit, but it's fine. It's okay. I've been playing this fight really fast. Maybe I wanna slow down. Almost usually good to do something like that. Cause we're not dealing a partic a particularly a particularly significant amount of damage here. I think I have the HP on this. I have the HP on this squad to survive. All right, I could kill Boozle here, which would probably be good. Yeah, we'll kill Boozle here. Well, Spike goes goes does go down to one, which is. Uh, Oh, uh, wait, shit. Oh, no. BG took more damage than I was intending. Ah, uh, fuck. It might be a play where I walk out of this fight. I really have, like, no multi-kill. We okay, we could be in a lot of trouble here, actually, if we run into King Moko. This kind of squad would really, really struggles against King Moko. Because we attack very sl We're attacking very slow. Okay, I can move my units here. The only po real potential I have for multi-kills in... Okay, can I call him the last enemy? Okay. Oh, I can actually do this to get a another... To increase the multi-kills. Nice. I mainly did that to, like, so that when the enemy spawned in, it would run away and give me a bit of money. But uh, it's fine. We got plenty of money. Gnome charm. Hmm. It's crown here. I don't think. I think it's gonna be gnome charm. I really want to see if we can get this kind of unit to be good. If you show me blaze bomb here, I'm gonna in amongst these I would be very sad I'd be very disappointed in you game thankfully the game did not do that very appreciated hmm. is it a curse crown here I kind of like doing a blade, seeing if we can... Ooh, I feel like I need a... I really need a better offensive unit in this run, because we deal... Hold up, who are we fighting? It's goats. Hmm. I really... I think I would like a clockwork bomb, because we are probably going to be relying on this BG. Late game... I think I'm gonna I'm gonna put this on our leader. I I need like every little because it's either gonna be like we it's either gonna be we find something it's either gonna be that we're finding something that that shell can take advantage. It's either gonna be that we're finding something that shell can take advantage of. Wait, what am I saying? Or it's either that we're gonna be playing like shell something that like makes shell pop off as our late game, or we're gonna be playing something else that you like a foxy, and we're that unlikely would want to hold that no that would unlikely unlikely that it would want to hold frenzy charm. That's what I'm trying to say. 
I would like a curse crown because I'm pr am probably gonna be yeah I think it's gotta be a curse crown here I think it's the most consistent. All right, let's continue. Let us commence. Let us continue henceforth. Nothing on this board is scaring me right now. What I want to do is I just. We gotta make this leader. We gotta make this leader attack attack as much as he possibly can. As as, as much as much as humanly possible. You know, I'd really so the I mentioned that I named this unit Shell. Like after the reason I named this unit Shell was after a, a conversation I had with a friend. So we were talking about like potential like names for a band. And a band name I always wanted to do was one called Shell. And he was like, oh, Shell, that sounds like it'd be an abbreviation for something. So after talking up, so after like we decided on that it would stand for, for silly, happy, enigmatic little losers. And I think that name is pretty fucking epic. Pretty fucking bad, pretty fucking badass. Like after... After like one, after like one attack and after yeah, after one attack and like a f and being hit with a sun song box, his leader is dealing like pretty good damage, and then it just scales more from there. Oh, I want to snow kick this jab jot. Think about what I wanted to do here. That jab jot is a really big threat. Okay, our leader is guaranteed to get at least a double here. Or, or always guaranteed to get a double here. I'm not gonna let this goblin run away. He doesn't get that privilege. Fuck that goblin. Fuck that idiot. Fuck that idiot. I hate him. Play this again. Ready, ready to watch the BG like kill a fucking bajillion. Oh wait, that was kind of bad at. <laughs> I'm, I, they don't, they don't make them very smart. They don't make them very smart, do they? They don't. Oh, that's kind of bad act. That's pretty bad actually. They don't they don't design them very smart, do they? And by it I mean me. I I came I was a defect out of the factory. Youch. <laughs> Huge youch. But thankfully our leader is a our leader is hitting pretty our our silly happy enigmatic little loser is God, I if I wanted this leader to be good so I can title this video sh "Silly Happy Enig Eg I I I can't say enigmatic enigmatic little loser. I want it, I want the I want this leader to be like our carry for the run so I can title the video that. And it the only problem is that it wouldn't make a lot of sense because it's like a a really big in joke. <laughs> We are, like, kind of getting a little fucked. I need to freeze his mud and head. Big Bear is going to take four here. I'm not muted, am I? I'm not. And I am recording. Yeah, okay. This... I mean, no, this line is good. It's just I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot that let... That let our that let our girl BG die for no reason. Our I don't know. I don't know what to call BG. Our our lovely supportive friend BG. There you go. What are we? Okay. Come on. I just show me Blaze Bomb. Show show it to me. Show me Blaze Bomb. 
I should take definitely take Mega Mimic here. Mega Mimic's really good. Absolutely. I'm not likely to buy something from this Charm Merchant. However, I going going. Mm, greed Charm. It's really tricky to play, but it can be really strong. I'm... Is it good enough, though? This leader is... Oh, man, I really wish we had, just, we had something better than this leader. Although, maybe with enough freeze and healing. Also, I'm going to take the crown. Actually, no, I'm not. Because we can heal up BG with, with the big-ass berry blade. So, BG's debuff doesn't isn't going to be super impactful, I think. Oh, God, this great charm, because it doesn't do anything right now. Okay, let's say, let's think here. I don't think it's great, I, I don't think it's great charm. I was thinking about it, I don't think it's great charm. I don't think we have, this leader is not attacking enough to where, like, to where, like, anything, no, I, it, it can't be, it can't be great charm. It cannot. Would be good, but I can't pay 80 for a Greed Charm. Unfortunate. Unfreaking forking it. Okay. Smog was the the one that received. Alright, we will start off with one of these. And I want to start letting Junkhead take damage, actually. Because the re the reason why is I want to start gaining junk to play Sunsung Box. So we're really going to need Sunsung Box to, to, be, to make this leader good. Smog is, go is gonna heckin' die. And I will make sure of it. I'll save the hit. So here it's good. And I'll block the three damage. I kill both units. It, yeah, I... No, wait, I don't. I don't. Right? Yeah, I can't kill both. Not even, not even close. It's fine, though. Yeah, it's fine. Uh... No, no, this is all fine. I'm gonna see if I can redraw the freezes gobbling a bit. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I mean, the thing is, I don't actually want to redraw this hand. I will... I'll ink Pawpaw. I'll ink this Pawpaw. Stop it from gaining. So I, I don't want to redraw. I don't want to redraw that hand because I want to. I, I want to snowcake Maja. This fight should be over. This fight should be over. My leader is gonna take two here. There's not really much I can do to stop that, but two two's not gonna kill me. We can survive two. Like this this line feels okay now, but I'm afraid it's gonna really fall off late game. We need to find something that makes we need to find something that makes this leader leader better. Okay. Thankfully Maja Maja is but a is but a is but a non factor. What are you showing me here? I visited enough. I wanna, I wanna, vi I wanna visit a treasure. Yo, we found it! Holy, we found it. We heckin' found it. That's really good.
Eh, you can come along, Glunky. Glunky, you can come along to sit on the sidelines. There's another idea you I have here. Actually, I can still I can I, I can play this. Yeah, I, still, I can do this. I want to take Frostbite Charm here. Reasons why is because of this Mega Mimic we have. Because you can Frostbite Charm Mega Mimic to make it pop off. All right. After deliberation, we're probably not we're not gonna be playing Bounce Charm. We're definitely not playing Bounce Charm on our BG. So we're gonna put. We're gonna take Frostbite Charm here. Although, what am I... F hmm. Part of me wants the... The unfortunate thing about Frost... I mean, I think I kind of have to. I don't really have another choice than not... To I don't really have the choice of not Frost Bombing. Of not Frost Bombing this Mega Mimic. I also want to see if I can make this... Uh, Hmm. I can take a crown off Big Bear, yeah. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, this works. The setup works. So we're gonna want... Here we just wanna try redrawing for... Alright. This, this setup looks like... I don't know if the setup is good, but it at least looks cool. You can't take that away from this. Unfortunately for me... I don't... Huh, I gotta be mindful of, like, an, the enemy spawning next- the enemy spawning next turn. I probably want to free. I was going to just ink the sh pop shroom, but I probably need to freeze it instead. Yeah, because and a puffball like this can spawn. That definitely was the right play. And we're gonna give the leader a lot of attack scaling. Please. Oh, so good. Okay, that was actually a fucking phen- That was actually a fucking phenomenal turn. Holy. That was so- That was so good, actually. We got Junkhead, uh, We got this beautiful Junkhead play. Make sure I didn't mute my mic. I did not. Okay. BG gets to apply a nice little bit of bomb. Get, yeah, he gets to apply a very nice little amount of bomb to, to Truffle, which is quite nice. We're gonna... Oh, wait. I, I should not have done that. Yeah. That... Oh, God. Oh, this, this line actually seems really... It's, like, starting to, like, kind of, like, coming... Really coming... It's starting to really come into it. It's, we're starting to really hone in on this lo on this cool... Plus one, uh, plus one attack line. It's pretty, it's pretty fucking nice. I can play Blaze Bomb again. The big hit for this run that makes it go through the goddamn roof is if we can find, is if we can simply find is well if is cake charm cake charm blaze bomb makes this run go through the roof although it is i well, i do need to remember that it is risky because your leader is one it just gets one shot it's effectively one hp with if you do that i mean the leader is already kind of like effectively one hp because let's be honest three hp is in the late game is effectively one hp and now, no, now our leader is effectively one HP now. It's actually is it smackback? 
Because we can play Smackback on BG, and that could be really nice with Mega Mimic. I actually like that quite a bit. We should we should do that. I think it actually is that idea. Okay. This, this build's definitely... This build's got a lot of good DNA. I just have to be really careful with this, with this leader. And, like, fucking... Oh, is... Wait. Oh, shit. The, the frame rate's kind of... Kind of... Bus... Bussin'. Let me... Uh, yeah, let me close some tasks. Again, I really should just get in the habit of doing this. Because, like, okay, the reason I don't close every tab, and it's a dumb reason, so the reason I do it is just because is literally just because I don't, I have to, I will, I have to reopen Photoshop later. Yeah, pretty dumb. Pretty freaking, pretty freaking stupid, one would say. Uh, I'd rather not lose a junk on. Wait, am I actually killing this burster? I am. I am and always was. Oh, fuck. Uh, I'm not dealing with a smack back burster, no thanks. The footage looks okay. I need to get... So, uh, it uh, just occurred to me now that I probably should see... Something I should approve on, see if I can approve on in the future is... Recording at, at like... At better quality, because... My videos... Well, they ain't too... Ain't too fantastic. Well, the quality of my... Like, the video quality of my videos does leave a bit to be desired. We'll see what I, I'll I'll see about it after. After this, after this recording. Give this. For some reason, I thought that would kill my. I like paused for a second, thinking that would kill my leader. No, don't worry. It doesn't work like that. So. Oh, don't you worry, you little hairs. Your wee, don't you worry, your wee little hairs. Alright. Go off. I do have to be mindful of, like, anything that, like, oh, this burster is not a problem, actually. Sadly, BG, not, why not Flask of Ink, just so we can get this BG to... Like, actually be able to smack back against something. Check this out. Boom. Let's do Burster. Oh no, whatever. Whatever shall I do? Actually, I'm gonna do this. This gets another hit off Mega Mimic. <laughs> that was like a, such an odd. That was such an odd overkill on that. It's an odd oh, setup. An, such an odd overkill setup for that. For that fucking thing there. For, what a, for that fucking little freak there. Alright, we just... It's an odd overkill setup for that little burster. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Good. I actually got a... I was a little scared there that I wasn't gonna get a... That I was not gonna... Am I taking Bomb Barrel here? I might end up taking Bomb Barrel. Moko Charm. That's really good. So again, we just want this leader to attack as much as possible. As much as humanly possible. Cloudberry Charm, less good. 
Now, what? Let's ask here. What's better, bomb barrel? Bomb barrel does just mean you're gonna be killing things a little bit faster. Although it is another card you have to play, and the junk's probably a little bit bad because I have a lot of cards I just want to cycle around to play, like Sun Song Box. I don't think it's right. I'm gonna take another. Bomb Skull Charm, yeah. Massive ugh, energy. I should have. I would have. I should have taken the bomb barrel. This does nothing on shell. I should have put it on BG. And a crown lumen vase here. Luminary vase. Oh, I do get another charm here. Oh, uh, then I shouldn't have put. Oh no. Frog charm. Okay, it doesn't do anything. I don't have to feel bad about about like putting three. I'm putting three charms on my leader. Alright, here you go, Big Barry. Big, Biggerton Barry. I don't know, maybe we can play this on BG. Maybe we get in a situation where... Where BG... Where, where we need BG. Where the little bit where BG needs to die, and the little bit of damage I get... And the little bit of damage I get on... I get from the explode saves us. That'd be pretty cool if it if that happened. Too bad it's not gonna happen. Too bad it's literally impossible. Uh, the setup here. I'm gonna do big berry. Do big berry freeze. Yeah, I am. I can't. I do just unsung box my leader here. Oh, uh, that doesn't change anything, really. It just means Big Bear takes two more damage. It's fine. Oh my god. These. The damage is kind of nasty. The damage this le the damage this leader is dealing is getting kind of fucking nasty with it. Kind of getting a little getting a little freaky. Okay, it is okay, you no, it's fine here. What I'm going to do here, we're going to we're going to we're going to play that. The reason I'm playing that is I want is I want junk oh wait am i no I, i'm not i'm not in trouble here even yeah the, i was thinking of spike well spawning top lane but that should not scare me because i because we just smack in the frost garden and thankfully i was made the smart play on in ink to frost garden now this is kind of popping off it's kind of sick with it actually it's kind of sick with it it's pretty cool I do this setup. This silly. This silly egg. This silly happy enigmatic little loser is kind of going off. And I, I get to name this video. I get to name this video after an in joke that nobody's gonna get. Hoo hoorah! Hoorah! Ooh raw baby, who fucking raw? All right, uh, Uba Bear spawn. No, yet there won't be an Uba Bear. I won't hit the Uba Bear. What I tell you? Fuck you, Uba Bear. Piece of shit. Nobody likes you. Krill your. You better krill yourself. You you better. Oh man, I just remembered. I I, I was about to. I looked up a video on, like, the, like, the fucking look-maxing community, because I was, like, curious. That guy, that shit's fucked up. That shit's way more fucked up than I ever thought it, than I ever thought it could be. That stuff, like, I, I was with, like, look, so, like, weird the stuff I learned about is look-maxing... The weirdest part of it to me is that look back thing, like the looks back thing has like there's such a specific definition. 
definition on like what looks attractive to the point where it's like reminded me of like how in like like little like like breed breeding pageants or like animal pageants will like give the best reward to like these like animals that like speak that fit like a very specific like have a very specific look like like I remember I was visiting a, I was visiting a cousin once and she was like and she like r raised bunnies she ate, like br bred bunnies bred rabbits and she was, she was like yeah this rabbit here was like one of won this metal won this like little like blue ribbon cuz she had like these very specific features that are considered just very desirable. It was, I don't know, it's very weird to me. Oh God, I, I will say it every fucking time. No, no, I can ink you, Frost Lancer. Frost Lancer, I, I will, you will be inked. I will ink all over you. Yeah, don't, why, why am I hesitating? Don't hesitate. No need to hesitate. You're fine. You need Big Berry down here. Yo, Big Berry. Frenzy. Frenzy. Er, Big Bre Berry with the Fury. Go get him, buddy. The setup's a little unfortunate here because I don't have the ability... Okay, what I need to do here is I need a flask of ink, Frost Lancer, or else I will just die. Or else I will just crumble over and decease. Should I, f should I freeze a Frost Jailer? It probably would be a good, it's probably a good idea. I don't want to freeze Frost Junker, because I want Frost Junker to eat bomb. Alright, time for the bigger damage to the bee. Ooh, are we killing Frost Jailer? Oh, so I need to remember to take screenshots here. Take a screenshot of the silly, happy, enigmatic little loser here. Fuck you, Frost Junker. Hey, hey, Big Berry. Big Berry Blade. Not, 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 no, no. Not that big berry. Not that big berry. The big berry blade. Very keen difference. You will be you will be failed if you get that wrong on the test. I should also be in these mid fight in the middle of a fight, I should be playing Blaze Bomb on on Mega Mimic. I don't know why I haven't been doing that. That would have been a lot smarter. Like, Mega Mimic, it, it's just, like, a complete buff. A complete... It's just purely an advantage for Mega Mimic. Alright, I think we got this. I mean, we definitely got this. As long as I don't make, like, a mistake and move Shell down to be hit by Frost Bomber, we're fine here. I kill here. Yo, this build was pretty cool. This was pretty, this was pretty neat. This plus one attack leader actually, like, did, did really cool things. I'm super happy about it. Super, very, very pleased. Oh my goodness, it's, oh my goodness! Like, after two attacks, he just goes crazy mode. It's very nice. That was super good. I like that a lot. I like that one a lot. Heck yes. Get in that damn vase. We are eating that dub. Now, next time we're playing... Next time we're playing Snow Dwellers. I'm, like, kind of cursed with Snow Dwellers right now. I've just been losing my last couple of runs. Thankfully, this leader here is pretty damn good. Better than these other... This, this leader has, like, actually pretty interesting attack, but... Eh. Not very good. Anyway, that's going to do for this episode of Wild Frost. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like and or comment and or subscribe. Or I'll, while you're at it, share this video with your best friend or greatest enemy. I'll catch you guys later.